Hey guys, what's up? My name is Zach. I hope you're all having an absolutely incredible day and welcome back to another vlog. So today's going to be something a little different. Uh, ever so recently I've been trying to save up every single piece of money that I can possibly get my hands on to try and finish paying off my car. Basically, you guys have seen in an upcoming video uh, what actually happened and, and the reasons why I'm still paying off my car. It'll be coming up very soon. I feel like the more I open up about my life, the more in, in, you know, more personal I can get about my life, the more I can connect with you guys as an audience and um, the more I guess you guys can connect with me and sort of, um, you know, create a mutual friendship between us both, which would be absolutely awesome. I just feel like that would, that would bring me closer as a vlogger and stuff like that. So that video will be coming up very soon anyway. But basically today, I have not bought a single mod for my car in God knows how long. And today, I just wanted to do something really cheap. It's got probably going to It's probably going to cost me about uh, maybe a little bit less than $100. But you know what? I really don't mind at all because I haven't done anything to this car in ages. Everyone's vinyl wrapping their interiors. Everyone's, you know, plaster dipping their interiors, painting them to make them nice and glossy. And God knows. However, with the Ford Falcons, I've never seen someone that's done a fabric wrap or like an Alcantara or a suede wrap. So today that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to need some adhesive spray and what we'll need also is not the webbing stuff, we'll need the mist. Um, I saw this on a YouTube video and apparently the webbing gets in behind it and it, like, it, it bonds together and it makes it look really ripply and bumpy. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to be getting that stuff. I'm going to make sure I get the mist. So it's a spray adhesive mist. Also what I'm going to need is the Alcantara or the suede. So I've already measured up how much I'm going to need um, in a little square and then obviously I just have to lay the pieces down and cut it. What I'm also going to need is if I can find it, the really thin foam. I'm going to need some scissors. I'm going to need a knife of some description, whether I just use one of my kitchen knives or whether I actually get some, whether I actually get some razors, I'm not quite sure. We'll have a look. I'm also going to need some trim removal tools. I'm probably just going to use a knife. Or, and I'm also going to need some screwdrivers. Apparently to get the actual passenger side dash piece off, you need to, yeah, well, you need to take the entire glove box out and then actually get behind the dash gear because it has two little nuts in there, like two nine more nuts. So I'm going to have to get them off too. So anyway, let's go find out exactly where we can get our stuff and then we will go to the shops and spend some money. So we have the post way. The black, in, in black, if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, sure is. Thank you. Looks like we found it. Yeah! It looks like, oh my god, my screen. So it looks like it's a lot cheaper than what I actually thought. So that's going to be so awesome. Head down there now. Go get the suede cut. It's not going to be Alcantara, but you know, if I decide to do this in the future uh, with a different car, at least I'll know when not to choose suede or Alcantara. So yeah, we'll go down and get the suede now. We'll also go see if we can find a rep coat or a super cheap order that's going to have the spray adhesive. Uh, we're also going to go see if Spotlight has that really, 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 really thin foam. Um, even if it's in like little blocks, I can always stack it on top of each other. So yeah, it should be awesome. Anyway, I will jump in my car and let's go get some material. Uh, even though I drove here yesterday, I missed you. All right, so we just got over to Vegan Yum as well. I'm pointing the camera down low at the moment because it's really awkward vlogging in front of people. But Sarah wanted me to get some, um, wanted me to get some brownies for her, some vegan brownies. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Be a good boyfriend. And it just so happens that the brownie place is almost near Spotlight. So I or I remembered, I promised Sarah, I remembered to get you a brownie. Only because I drove past here though. <laughs> so yeah. Spotlight! Woo! I've never seen a guy more excited about Spotlight. That's really awkward. I'm sorry guys, I, I disappointed you. I'm not going to take the camera in because it's probably going to look really weird, me just vlogging while buying fabric in a craft shop for my car. So yeah, I'm just going to leave the camera here, be back out in a second. Alright, so I just managed to get some suede, people have pulled out right beside me. Um, however, I didn't end up getting any uh, foam, really thin foam, because it just, um, yeah, I couldn't actually find any in there. However, this suede here, I actually got way too much of it, I don't know why I got so much. But if you can see that, it's kind of got like a really thin, it's like a really thick suede, which is kind of cool. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But it actually has like a kind of nice sponginess to it at the moment. 
and that way I don't really lose the you won't be able to see it but you can't you won't lose that line there as well which is what I kind of wanted to keep so yeah should be a better fit than what I originally planned so another cool thing was I actually managed to find a Bunnings warehouse on the road that I came down here on so I'm gonna quickly head to Bunnings and see if they have some spray adhesive it'd probably be a bigger range than what I would find at Repco or Sung are super cheap and it'll probably be cheaper so let's head there all right I'm honestly over the moon right now it is so cheap to buy all the materials that I've just purchased like I just got this here I think it was ten dollars and that's a complete mist um, mist spray adhesive and I also got this which is like a fast grip I think it says it says in cork floors so I'm not sure whether it's all for floors but it says suitable for leather canvas hardboard so that's you know um, and also like vinyl rubber and um, laminated plastics and stuff like that so that'll be perfect for the plastics um, and trying to adhere it to the um, fabric that I have down there so yeah and guess what all of this stuff here all you Americans are probably just going oh, I could buy all that sort of stuff for a dollar down at, at truth is in Australia everything's so much over here I managed to get it all for just under thirty dollars or just over thirty dollars actually so yeah she's gonna hit my car holy shit look out mate but yeah everything just over thirty dollars I'm so over the moon with that I thought it was gonna cost me upwards of seventy but thirty dollars is absolutely amazing so let's go home and let's get this done what up how are you Good. guess what I'm doing um, Have a look in here and ask, like, try to figure out what I'm doing. Yeah, bro, feel it, feel it though, feel it. Oh, do you? Okay. Okay, so I didn't end up actually getting any trim removal tools because I didn't end up going to a car shop. However, I'm gonna use a butter knife. Because that's how everyone does it on YouTube. All right, so apparently this piece here is one of the easier ones to remove. So all you have to do is put your knife without scratching it. Well, I, no, I guess it doesn't really matter if I scratch it. Wow, it's already... Okay, someone's already done this in the past. Interesting. Apparently you just get under it and move the knife kind of around the outside of it without damaging anything else. And with FGs around here as well, apparently that's really tricky to not break them. So what we'll do is we'll just move the knife around it without breaking it. And then what you do once it's mostly popped out is you, because there's a little tab that pokes up in that way. So what you do is you slide it back so you don't break that little tab on the end. That's probably the easiest one to get out. Alrighty. So the very next one is a little bit different. Um, I believe you have to move the steering column down, which this should be a little tab. Ah, oh, this one here. So you pull down on that little tab there, and you can drop the steering column down. And I'm just going to leave it there. Now, apparently this little piece, this little piece here clips out of somewhere. I'm guessing, I'm not quite sure exactly how it does. So it literally just pushes down and out. Okay, so apparently this one here is really difficult. So what you have to do is, I don't know whether you guys can see my hand there, but what you have to do is stick a knife basically or your trim removal tool up and under here. And that basically frees up this section here. And then as soon as you do that, you have to get in up behind this one and I have a little bit of an issue because I have a button right here too which I'm not gonna know actually how to get that out um, and yeah apparently it um, is very fragile also so I've got to just take my time with this one make sure I get it all out perfectly this little section here right, so I managed to get most of it out Gonna slide it off the end here. Excellent. Now I just gotta push through this little silicon joiner. There's a little silicon joiner basically down through here. Pull out that little joiner. Pull the little tabs. And I'm guessing inside here will be a little. If you guys do have the um, the button to move your pedals back and forward. What you should do is just get behind it really quickly, 
there should be a little loom. Just take the loom out. There we go. Awesome. So now we get that piece out and that's the piece that goes in behind the steering wheel. Alrighty, so apparently this one here is the big one. So down behind here are two separate screws you have to get out. But firstly to do that, you have to take out the entire glove box assembly. So, let's get to work on that. So once you then get all the screws out of your glove box, um, so all the screws will actually be up under here. Another thing you have to do is also remove this trim piece here. Basically, this holds your entire glove box assembly together. So if you quickly just grab it at one of the corners, and use your knife as well to break apart one of the, the clips. Well, I don't break it apart, but... What's up, guys? Can I just say that that right there, I would rather put coilovers in 10 cars than remove those two bolts from the back. They were, not even joking, if you can see this here, this is basically the, the front panel of my dash. The bolts were under here and then all the way back in there. And I had nothing long enough, absolutely nothing long enough to actually do it except for this. And I was doing it on the very end, like trying to tight, like loosen it like that. That was so not fun. So then once you do that, it's as simple as Popping it out like the rest of the trim pieces. Keeping in mind that these two bits here are very fragile. So, just be really careful with it. As long as you don't break that little corner there, I'm guessing it will just slide out like the rest of them. That's your last piece. And now, we can get to actually wrapping. Oh my god, that was an absolute struggle and a half. What a mess. Anyway, let's go do all this. Alrighty, so now I have everything that I want. So I have the Alcantara here, all the suede. Um, that's obviously the backing side, plus my spray adhesive, plus uh, this trim piece here. Now, I'm gonna leave this sticker on because um, it's of big importance to me. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but I'm gonna actually leave this on here because it was on there the first day I got my car. It's the car's name. And there's, I know there's another sticker on there, but it's just a sentimental thing for me to know that it's always going to be behind there. So, stuck on there pretty well. I've wiped this entire thing down. I'm going to go do it once more, and then we can start spraying. Mmm. So I'm going to have to go inside now and I'm going to fix up all these edges. I'm going to put some thin strips of glue around the outside and I'm just going to basically fold that straight up inside like that. And that should look really clean. Let's go do that. Don't ever do that guys. That is why you do not cut into yourself. It is bad and don't do that ever. So after an absolutely extremely long day of me trying to get make this all work and try and figure out some stuff, it's finally done and it looks awesome. Here's a little cinematic edit for you guys.
Alrighty, so set her up on the Alcantara dash. I just completely finished it, just got all those cinematics for you. Do I like it? Do I not like it? To be honest, the fact that I did it kind of doesn't work because one, I'm not very crafty, two, I'm a perfectionist and if it doesn't end up being perfect, then it just, it won't work for me. Um, so yeah, at this kind of, at this moment, I, it's, it looks good, it looks great from a distance, but then when you get up close you can kind of see some little, like, you know, obviously cut marks and, and little marks where it didn't go into the actual, like, the, the glue didn't adhere properly and stuff like that, which kind of is a bummer for me. Uh, if I was to do it again, I would not use the, um, the Alcantara that has the foamy sort of stuff behind it. I'd use the really thin stuff and use foam actually behind on the main part of it. Because one issue I did have was because my trim pieces are so tightly fitted together, they weren't actually going to fit back unless I trimmed the very outside of them. So in actual fact, the trim, oh, the Alcantara now doesn't actually go around the, in, around the entire corner. It sort of sits flat where if I was to take the trim, if I was to take the like the cover off, it would only be on the very top that you would see Alcantara. It still managed to get around it quite nicely and I do quite like it, but yeah, it's 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 something a little different. Um, as for the colour, looks good. I like it. I like it how it's um, a little bit different and um, yeah, I do like the fact that it still is a silver IC, uh, uh, silver command centre because it just matches up with the, um, the door handles as well. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it took me about six hours-ish, I think, to get it all sorted. And that was to get all the trim pieces off completely wrapped and then put them back on. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. I, I actually really enjoyed it. It's something a little bit different. And, you know, even though I did end up cutting into my finger with a Stanley knife and then scraping my other finger on another nut trying to get the glove box back in. Oh, man. I'm going to go have a shower now because I absolutely stink and I'm really sweaty. But anyway, thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Remember to smash the like button, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff. And yeah, I hope to see a better version of this coming hopefully on the next car. We'll wait and see. Catch you later.